what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna do a quick video on how to replace your front brakes uh brake pads on a 2016 jeep patriot now this procedure will qualify for a lot of different patriots as long as they have front brakes this is exactly how you're gonna do that all right so just stay tuned first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the hood and we're gonna open uh, the brake fluid reservoir all right leave that open for now and then we're going to jack the vehicle up put it on safety jack stands and we're going to be removing the front wheels all right here we go in procedures you have to look underneath your car and usually this is a cover but this is where the frame goes and just a little groove right here that little groove indicates your safety jacking point all right so that's where we're going to start jacking it up from and loosen these wheels and take these wheels off Let's test out the power of the Milwaukee. Oh, yes. Two. Three. And All right, so we're gonna remove this wheel. Make sure that cap doesn't fly. Okay. Now we're just moving out of the way. Let your spine Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the wheel all the way to the right so we can ex we can have more, a little more room back here. And we're gonna get we're gonna remove these screws right here. Let me show you. Huh? We're gonna remove this top one right here. And we're gonna remove this bottom one right here. And then this caliper is going to come off and we're going to be able to take this pads off. All right, so just stay tuned. All right, we're going to be using a 14 millimeter socket. I'm going to use my impact gun. This you know, new gun. Yeah. Well, this is the old one. Old one for now. But I'm trying to make my life easier right here. All the way up. Careful not to get a bunch of dirt on this because there's a bunch of grease that goes on there. Right here, the other one off. Pull it out. Just like that, this brake caliper should just slide out. There we go. What you need to do is if this is not correct or if it's too tight, just gotta pull against the brake pad to compress the caliper just a little bit and it should slide out because it won't come out because this is pressing against the pad so let's see now our next step would be to compress this caliper this is how we do it and remove these pads out of the way there you go remove the other one and there you go now we put one of the pads, the flat side, on, on the caliper right here, and we use a C-clamp or a brake caliper compressing tool, and we screw this in until the caliper is flush, the cylinder on this flush, all right? So let's do that. But as you can, as you can see, it's compressed all the way. Now we just unscrew this, take out this little compression tool out, take this out, and we can go ahead and hang this somewhere where it will not fall. Well, yeah, we're, we're gonna put some new pads in here. So none. now it's a matter of getting the new pads and putting them on here. Let's compare the pads. As you can see, these are my old pads and these are my new pads. Look how much more brake is in there. So let's go ahead and put these on and put it all over again. All right, the new pads are in. See the other one? New pad number two. Bam. And now it's time to put the caliper back on. Let's see. Here we go, it should slide right in. And there it goes. 
you may want to push in a little right here. Okay. Once it slid in all the way. Here, brother. Boom. All right, now, once we have the caliber in here, okay, we gotta make sure that the little rubber boots are right there. There we go. Now we put the, the screws back on. Make sure they go in. There we go. Once you get one in there, the other one should go in straight because the first one's a guide. The second one. There we go. Awesome. Screw them in by hand. And then tighten them up. So we're gonna put this into the lowest setting. this into the lowest setting so it doesn't over torque these all right and then put it the other one there we go now remain remember this is on the lowest setting so it's not like it's gonna over tighten this all right and there you go that's how you do it so once you have tightened up your brake caliper it's time to put this wheel back on and then it's time to go on the other side and do the same thing Keep in mind the procedure is exactly the same on the other side, so I don't think I have to film this, all right? So let's put this wheel back on. Snap with the cap. We always put the cap on before we screw it in, okay? Now we're gonna drive these suckers in at the right. Put it in send it mode. Send it. Always tighten up your lug nuts in a start pattern. Start pattern, guys. Never go around. Did you stop it? No? Alright, cool. Turn it up. One, two, three, four, five. I think we should be there. And that's exactly how you do it, guys. That's how you replace your front brake pads on a 2016 Jeep Patriot. Now, to remove the rotors are different things, a different video, but we're not doing that today. So, just a quick pad slap for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. And subscribe to the channel to support uh show us your support and love all right have a good one